In this video, I would like to show you how you can easily upgrade the SATA SSD, M.2 NVMe SSD, and the RAM of a ThinkPad E495. So first off, you're going to want to unscrew the two, four, six, seven, eight, nine screws that are holding the back cover on. And there's little plastic clips that you can kind of just undo. And the uh, back comes off like this. I've already taken the screws out to uh, help save some time. Now this is the uh, ThinkPad E495. As you can see, this laptop's actually fairly upgradable for a laptop of its class. We have a removable SATA SSD, a removable M.2 NVMe SSD that fits either 2242 or 2280 uh, SSDs. And we have two DIMM channels and a Wi-Fi card. So let's start with the RAM. If you want to take out the RAM, it's pretty simple. You can just uh, pull these two little clips to the side and the RAM kind of just uh, comes up like this and then you can just take it out. If you want to take out both channels, same thing, just, just like that, boom. You can take it out uh, and then let you install a new RAM. So say I want to upgrade this uh, 4 gig DIMM to something a little bigger. You can take our first channel of RAM, slot it in, push it down from the top here until you hear that click, that tells you that the clips are in. Grab our second channel of RAM. Bring it here. Here the second click and you're good. That is your both RAM sticks installed. This computer is using dual channel RAM. So you would ideally want two RAM sticks. And I'll just give you guys another close up. Pull on these two edges to bring the uh, stick out. And line it up. These sticks only go in one way. You'll notice that there's a notch here and a little key here. So you just line it up and it goes in again. That's all. Next up, let's take a look at the SATA SSD. The SATA SSD connects to this little ribbon cable here and it goes to the SATA breakout. Uh, I'm led to believe that on some versions of this laptop you may have a bigger battery instead of this arrangement, as was the case in the IdeaPad 3 that I showed. So to do this, you just pull on this. You kind of need to pull here because there's a little clip. So pull it towards this way. And you can just take this out. There you go. Um, and then popping this in and out is easy. This is just like a rubber enclosure. You kind of just do this. And there's little uh, pins that go into the drive there. There you go. And then you can unplug this. Be really careful, the ribbon cables are fairly delicate. There you go, and that is how you take out this SSD. Say I want to put another SSD, say I want to install this Kingston one. Same thing, grab the ribbon cable, just pop it in. And then take the drive, and uh, here's that piece in detail. You can see there's a little pins here that would go where normally screws would on most heart, most uh, other caddies. Make sure this is plugged in all the way. And then you can just line that up, push it in, pop this other side over, push it in, same thing. And in the end, you just pop it back. I'm not going to be using this SSD, so I'm just going to install the original one that I put back. So once again, here's double D. Plug it in. So I'm going to, you'll notice that there's two screw holes here and uh, two screws would normally go there. I'm just gonna pop these in. This one's being a little stubborn. Alright, and then you can just take the drive, lay it here, and it just clicks into place. This is perfectly fine for SSDs. There's no moving parts. It's fully, well, solid state, as the name suggests. I don't know how much I like this for hard drives. Usually you want a bit more uh, 
dampening for hard drives, but honestly, it seems like a pretty decent uh, procedure. Finally, the last thing we can upgrade is the M.2 SSD. So if I come right up close to that, you'll notice that here's where it goes. Right now, there's this SK Hynix 2242. And say we want to upgrade that to this uh, WD Blue SN550. So you're just going to need a small Phillips screwdriver. And the first step is just unscrew these SK Hynix SSD. Well, technically, we don't need to. We can just get rid of this whole mount. So what you will notice is there's two of these mounts. This one would be for 2242, this one for 2280. But this one is also lower down. So they have this little adapter that they've wedged in here so that they could fit a 2242, basically, in a 2280 mounting position. So if I take this out, you're going to need this screw for the... You're going to need that screw that came off from there for the installing the next SSD. You can just unplug this and you'll notice that this is just a little metal... Just a little metal piece um, that, that your SSD plugs into. Let's plug into the 2280 slot. So there's already a little thermal pad here and I... Just going off the hope that it'll be enough, probably shouldn't have touched that. You can take your bigger SSD, line it up. This is an M key, uh, M.2 you'll notice as M key, and then there's a B key that you can have. B is usually for SATA, for example. If you look at this, uh, this guy next, you'll notice that there are two keys here, both the M and the B. In fact, the M.2 slot for the Wi-Fi also has a separate key, and that's because the Wi-Fi cards also have Bluetooth. That aside, you know, you're going to take your SSD, line up the uh, key to the notch. It kind of goes in, like wiggle it in, basically at this angle. Do not try to mount it when it's flat. It's just like the RAM, you put it in at an angle. It's the case for a lot of laptop components. Take the screw. Don't drop the screw like I did. Using a magnetic screwdriver is a good idea here. Push this down and screw it in while not being fingered. Here. Push this down. and you're going to screw this in. There you go, that's how you install an M.2 NVMe SSD. Zoom back up. The last major upgradable component on this is this Wi-Fi card. And the procedure for it is really similar. So this is an Intel AC9260, which I guess you could upgrade for an AX200. It's pretty good though. To do it, you have two antennas. And you'll notice that there are two keys on this one. I will show you. Let's pop these out. Remember which way the antennas go. Having a better screwdriver helps. Grab your better screwdriver. This is how the Wi-Fi card looks. Notice how that this one has two notches. And again, that's just because Wi-Fi is... The Wi-Fi antenna is connected over PCIe, but the Bluetooth is connected over USB. And pop that back in. These little antennas are sometimes quite annoying to plug in. Yeah. 
both are popped in. And that's it. And those are all the upgradable components of your ThinkPad E495. You could also replace the battery, but I mean, I'm not going to consider it an upgrade, that is maintenance. The battery just plugs into this ribbon connector here, and there's uh, two screws holding it in here and here. You can always uh, pop those out and then replace the battery as well with an aftermarket one once this one stops holding its advertised capacity. That has been how to upgrade your RAM, M.2 NVMe SSD, SATA SSD, and Wi-Fi card on a ThinkPad E495. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. If any of your friends have this laptop, feel free to share this video with them. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.